Support for this podcast and the following message come from Corient. Corient provides wealth management services centered around you. They focus on exceeding your expectations and simplifying your life. Corient has been helping high achievers just like you enjoy their lives more fully, preserve their wealth, and provide for the people, causes, and communities they care about. As one of the largest integrated fee-only registered investment advisors in the U.S., Corient has deeply experienced teams in 23 strategic locations. Corient has extensive knowledge spanning the full spectrum of plan investing, lending, and money management disciplines. Leverage Corient's exclusive network of experts to craft custom solutions designed to help you reach your financial goals, no matter how complex they may be. Real wealth requires real solutions. For more information, connect with a wealth advisor today at Corient.com. That's C-O-R-I-E-N-T dot com. Corient.com. Wake up! Back off, all right? Look, you back off. Boy, you got grumpy in the morning. Why are you so grumpy, Grouch? Why are you so grumpy? Come on. You know why. Hey, I am so uh, stressed out. Seriously stressed out here. I worked hard all week. Relax. It's almost the weekend. Now it's time to let loose. Oh, good. We'll start with radio. Oh, radio. It's free. It's free? In that case, let's do this. Ladies and gentlemen, look who we have here today. Nessun's Tom Karen live. Woo! 3D that's like really you. I've never done this show with pants on before. This, this is, is special. <laughs> this, is, this is a first. I'm very excited. You're not on Zoom. You're not uh, You're not on TV. You're, you're right in front of it. My dog's not barking in the background as I'm trying to talk to you guys. Welcome. Good to see you. Thanks, man. Great to be here. Uh, this is awesome. You're here for Carnival. I am. Carnival. Oh. You have to add 17 A's, BC told me. This is cool. Carnival Main kicks off uh, tonight. And are you the are you, the, are you the dude that lights off the fireworks and stuff? No, they won't let me get near that. There's that incident <laughs> from back in the 80s. Uh, and there's a restraining from order. First night Portland. Yeah, I can't do that. You used to be down, remember you used to be down by uh, the lighthouse? Yes. Didn't it, the, the fireworks, and then there weren't any. And then they were off this well, patio. That's, that's been happening for years. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you've had fireworks going off here. They used to be off time. here. They used to bring fireworks down. Yeah. And uh, they bring them down the hall on New Year's Eve. And then, you know, this is back in the days when everybody and the DJ smoked. And so a DJ <laughs> would walk out to the patio and light up a cigarette. We'd all be out there going, no. Nobody move. Nobody. Tom, Tommy C. firing up a dart outside. God bless him. Uh, yeah, tonight we're gonna uh, we're gonna have a little fun at the beginning. There's they're doing like the rail jam, so I'm gonna be talking to some of those guys. Like the, we've been watching the Olympics and they're doing so all cool. that. And then uh, Firefly, who's first of all, I thought it was the folk band from the '70s. Oh, and, very but, good. But, but, thank you. Wow. Uh, it's not. It's this incredible performer from Penobscot Nation. He's gonna perform. And then uh, and then the fireworks at seven. And then uh, goes to Paul Revere, who's awesome. They're incredible. I love that. You still come back home. You still come back to Maine a lot. Yeah, a lot. Uh, I, the tolls keep going up. It's a lot. Uh, it's uh, I, but New Hampshire. I got a thing with New Hampshire. Six, Sixteen miles, and I think I'm paying four bucks each way now. That's but, so cool, though. You but, know. but you stop and get the the cheap booze, That's so it right. evens out. Right? Exactly. I mean, it works out. <laughs> but you know, pr- Lewiston High School, and now you're here, and I mean, it's so it is so cool. So Carnival, it starts. Uh, I'm gonna do the opening ceremonies around uh, noon time, and oh, I don't wow. I don't know if we light a torch we hold a lobster in oh the air. you gotta come down on like skis with a lit torch <laughs> like in like in a nordic fur you know right white maybe a, maybe a jet pack with skis <laughs> i gotta do something you know what spe- works we, we used, i built a backyard rink for like 13 years for the kids they played hockey and we we built because you get carried away and you build the bigger and bigger and you tear down trees and you make your rink bigger but what's really cool and and you can find guys doing it online my kids pulled it up once is you wear skates and you get a leaf blower and you put the leaf blower between your legs, pointing back, and it'll actually shoot you around the rink. Oh so that's how you should show up. BC, tonight. if you're listening, I need I need a leaf blow. I'm gonna double <laughs> fist leaf blow so I can yes. like do twirls and lit stuff. with lit sparklers. <laughs> By the way, that's the Lewiston in me. Sparklers. We got to get sparklers coming. Tom is here, and if hey, you want to if you want to say hi to TC, seven nine two one zero two nine. Be interesting to see what blimsters come up with oh, yeah. for you. Yeah, with some landlord that I owe money from. <laughs> you know, you your, skipped out on me on Willard Beach. Your bar tab at three dollar Dewey's from oh, God. 1989. With interest, I'm done. With the, the, the old <laughs> that didn't carry to the new place. I left it at the old place. All right, it was the old three dollar Dewey's. Remember the old place where we used to go to dance at Hu Shang? Yeah. 
Shanks. The oh my tree. God. The tree. The tree. We were, we, uh, so we, and my wife is from Lewiston as well, Kelly, and we're pulling in yesterday and we, we were coming in kind of, we don't, we usually come through, whatever. Anyway, we we're coming in a different way. And she was like, what was that place we saw Warren Zevon? And it was like T-Birds. You remember right. T-Birds? Yes. And somehow we came up with T-Birds. And that, I love that because you come back here and you just see all these things. By the way, as I'm rambling, when <laughs> ne- when Nesson comes, I remember earlier on Nesson would come up and do a Sea Dice game and say, hey, where should we go? And I'd give them seven places and they'd call back. They're all gone. <laughs> not, oh, my not, God. Not, not one of the, the place. The Three Dollar Dewey's isn't where you said it was. Like, how drunk were you all the time? <laughs> Like, nothing is what you said it was. It's a bank. It's a parking lot. <laughs> right. It's a hotel. Katani. Yeah, we were talking about Raul's roadside attraction oh, last Raul's. week. Yeah. Yes. I saw, I saw the gin blossoms at there Raul's. You there you go. You yeah. could really, like, you know, start, I, you, to the tree. Yeah. I was, uh, the, the, it was just the tree, right? It was, it was the, the tree. The tree cafe. cafe. Yeah. Tree, and right? that, I, mean, that I was, saw fish there. That was Fish's right. clubhouse yeah. early on. Because my wife went to school with the guys in Fish, and, and I was at St. Mike's across town in Burlington. And they'd be playing Nectars all the time, and he'd be like, oh, these guys again? And it was free. It was free. It was downstairs fish. And he'd be like, oh, I've been here two hours. They've played three songs. But yeah, they're, they're never going to make it. I don't know why. Oh, they ramble. They, you know. there's, no, there's nothing. And then, you know, and then we're paying 100 bucks to see them at Loring Air Force Base. Yeah, they did okay. They did okay. So wait, with, with your wife... In Lewiston, meet her in Lewiston. You both went to school in Vermont. Yeah, I like went to a- high school together at Lewiston and and didn't go to the same school, but both were in Burlington and, and she was working at a bar and didn't date her there and then moved back here. Right. Uh, whenever. And, and six months later, she moved back here. And we actually started dating at uh, Gritty's used to have uh, quarter drafts. Right. Uh, on like Tuesday. And I was weekends at 13. Yeah. So you had Tuesdays and Wednesdays off. And there's never anything fun to do on a Tuesday or Wednesday. Like right. with, you know, you do stuff, right. but nobody wants to do it. But Tuesdays were quarter drafts at, at Gritty's. So it's it was a, packed. It's only fitting so that. You and you met her and you're like, ooh, a like minded individual. Right. <laughs> Wait, like you, like you a today. Midweek drinker. She said piton and, oh. and knew what a piton was. Go get the piton. <laughs> You, you said know, that this morning. The, yeah, little, the little headphone oh. jack. The little headphone yes. jack. So let's call. Yes. A piton. Yes. A piton. Everything was a piton. Any, <laughs> yeah, little, anything small. Yeah, that you right. know, flip a switch or something. Yeah. 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 Mousse. Mousse. You mousse, know, mousse yeah, is yeah that's the, like um, fluff. Dust bunnies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh to the rest God. of the world, it's must in Lewiston. <laughs> so funny. Well, it's only fitting that our Tom Karen report is always brought to you by Gritty McDuff. Yes. So that's fantastic. And by our friends at Gilman Electrical Supply. <laughs> Look out, Tom Karen has taken over the radio station. I'm doing the hand dance that they do at the at the dead show. <laughs> so you can watch the trail behind your fingers. He was twirling a little what? bit there. Yeah, he took his shoes off. Yeah, man. <laughs> do I smell patchouli? No, I don't know patchouli. <laughs> Just happen to have some. Anybody have a grilled cheese sandwich? <laughs> I have a $10 brownie you could buy. Yeah, that, that was, you know, I, well, I'm from Lewiston, right? And so in 80, that was the biggest show on their tour was the Lewiston Raceway. Oh, yeah. And that was why there's no more concerts in Lewiston. <laughs> That, we had we had a year. I think it was the same year. My memory's like we had Frank Zappa at the uh, what what it's been nine. It's the Coliseum. Yeah, it's yeah. been called forty different things. Yeah. But and, and then we had the Dead at the Raceway. Raceway. And uh, that was you know the story was people waking up to like three tents in their front yard <laughs> and some dude selling peanut butter sandwiches for yeah, fifty people cents. People peeing in their yard. Yeah, it was it was a it's mess. It's all good, I man. Yeah. It's all good. <laughs> 1978 or 79, uh, your first show in Portland. The Dead, yes. First of a few times I saw it. We were just going down memory lane. It was great. I saw Queen at the Civic oh, Center. It was amazing. God. That wall, they had that wall of lights with Freddie Mercury yes. in front of it. Wow. It was unbelievable. I saw I, uh, one of my favorite concert memories in Maine. We went to the Augusta Civic Center to see the Allman Brothers. Right. And <clears throat> about an hour, you know, the show was supposed to start at 8 or whatever. Now it's like 9.15. There's been no show. And then they come <laughs> out and say, well... If you want to stay and watch Derek Trucks and a few of the guys play, Greg has had a little issue oh, back no. yeah, Greg, Greg, I, I don't know if he OD'd, but he right. had an issue in Augusta. And, wow. Wow. You know. So you stick around? 
No, I got my money back. <laughs> <the hell? laughs> we hung out long enough. I right. Mean, right. So like I'm coming, I, I'm like coming. I had anything to get back to do. I, mean, <laughs> I got things to do. Let's go. No, you don't. Tom Karen in our studio. Tom will be uh, the uh, master ceremonies tonight for uh, the kickoff of Carnival Maine on the Eastern Prom. 25,000 people expected for the next uh, 10 days or so. That's awesome. And uh, you'll be... Uh, uh, you were the swanky VIP thing last night. That was pretty Movers cool. Movers and shakers only. It was pretty cool, yeah. man. Yeah, it was That nice. igloo looks awesome. We drove by yesterday. It it's huge. really cool. It's yeah. so cool inside, too. And like the lights and everything. Right. I mean, it's really awesome. cool. Yeah. Rail Jam. You got Ghost of Paul Revere tonight. You got fireworks. You can get your tickets. At Moto Co- Booty Affair tomorrow. We're going to that. Woo! Yeah. Let's go. Get your S- funk on. So much good music. Uh, live per- performances, bigger and better than ever. And then they got the ice, ice sculptures and the rail jam that Tom will be calling tonight. And it's going to be, I mean, Portland needed a cool thing like I love this. that they did this in the winter. You know what I mean? That you yeah. have a signature event in the winter. Because yeah. it's just, it's such a cool, like we said last night, we come back all the time because it's such a cool place. Yeah. You know, every time I'd be like, couldn't Nesson just move to Portland? And, right. Well, no. Dude, do you have enough sh- swagger now where you could say, I'm doing the show from here. You're a powerful yeah. man. You've got they to were, remember your power. Yeah. And they were real. They were. Very, yep. Do it from home. Fine. It's funny. I thought there'd be a little pushback. <laughs> no. You know. Don't you guys want me around the office? Nope. No, no. Let you stay. No. Doesn't really look that good for my living room. It's fine. Nope. Go. <laughs> Did you like doing the no, show from home? No. I mean, it was it was fun for a little while, right? Because it was sort of new. I mean, I don't want to say fun. It was the middle of a pandemic. Right. <laughs> right. It was a blast. I like oh, I the liked news. seeing your house. Yeah. Well, that my and my wife got really kind of, you know, Kelly didn't like that. Yeah. Like, Stop showing our house. Well, it's a half hour show from the house. It's kind of hard not to. I liked seeing your house. house. And I loved seeing like your toy collection in the back wall. Yeah, a lot of bobbleheads. All heads. of your m- memorabilia yeah. and all of that. So that was very exciting yeah, to me. Yeah, cool stuff. Thank as you. As a fan, Thank you know, you. to be able to. Have that was access. the kids' room, like it's that's the finished basement downstairs, and <laughs> yeah. the kids, and then the kids left. Like they, I don't think he was on the pike yet to go to New York. The younger one, and, and everything was gone. Like all their crap was gone. I called one of those. They bring the dumpster out back, and you just point and they yeah. throw it up. That and that and that, and throw it all away. And I got a pool table. And within a week, it was a man town. The Tom Karen man cave. I love it. The, uh, I got a Galaga it, machine that doesn't work. If anybody knows how to fix a oh, Galaga right machine. Oh, right down the street, calling. those guys can, uh, at yeah. Arcadia can help you. So speaking of Nesson, are you going to spring training? Are you not going to spring training? I'm going. <laughs> the Red Sox <laughs> The going. hell with the Red Sox. I'm going. Uh, yeah, I'm at, we're going to go. Uh, the minor leaguers are actually going to start uh, whatever the Sunday is, the 6th, March 6th. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we'll, we'll do some stuff with them. I, I do think... Uh, that we're getting closer. Yesterday, the union made its latest proposal. It was 15 minutes they met, which is just about long enough to go, eh, yeah, yeah. no, I don't yeah. walk away. Yeah, see ya. But they, the word is next week they're going to dig in, meet every day with a group of owners there. I think now they've kind of both set their positions. Everybody loves good labor talk, by the way, on their morning <laughs> radio. More uh, and, and, but I think they've sort of dug in and sat there. Here's what we think it's worth. Here's what you, once you, nobody's fighting over the concepts. And once you get to that point, then you can just figure out the money, I think. Right. So I, I think, you know, spring training will start late, but I think the baseball season will will get the whole season. So you're still optimistic. I am still okay. optimistic. A week from now, when we talk, I might change because I think this is a huge week. If they don't get it done by the end of February, you're going to have to start the season late, and that's trouble. All right, coming up, uh, we're going to talk collective bargaining details. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> sexy force majeure next on BLM. <laughs> <laughs> 2.9 WBLM, Maine's classic rock station, putting together a pretty damn good playlist yeah. today, Tom Karen. Very nice. I saw all these shows. Uh, you saw Genesis. So you, we, yeah, so we both did. He just saw Genesis. Yeah. Actually. I think they gave me COVID. <laughs> <laughs> oh. thanks, thanks, Phil Collins. Uh, before that, Steely Dan, I know you've seen before. Yeah, we just saw them at the Orpheum a few weeks back. A huge Steely Dan. One of my, probably at the end of the day, maybe my favorite band. They're incredible. They're just, they're unbelievable. We said they played Royal Scam start to finish. It was awesome. I don't know if they've ever been here. I would love for them to to come in. But for years, they didn't tour at all. Yeah, remember? right. Because right, they couldn't perfect the sound that they would get in the studio. And then they said, we'll give you $500,000 for a show. <laughs> it's amazing. They said, we don't have to be that good. And <laughs> good they're enough. still amazing. Good enough. Good enough. <laughs> we can play some of it recorded. Yeah. Tom Karen is here uh, in the studio. He's here in Portland tonight. And if you're in the old port last night, you probably heard 
The party heard him ro- rolling up and down. <laughs> I didn't hit every bar. I mean, let's <laughs> they were, <laughs> you leave some for tonight. Yeah. Carnival, Maine tonight, Eastern Prom. Tom will be, uh, I'll be doing opening ceremonies around noontime with my uh, uh, leaf blowers and so sparklers. So do you have something? Do you have, yes, but that's right. Thank you. Sparklers. <laughs> Don't forget the sparklers. sparklers. Do you have like a line ready? I mean, is it let the games begin? Is oh, it, yeah. We don't know, have is that, it, do we? What, what, yeah. We need something official. Let's, let's light this candle. I think the blimpers, I think you got to put it out to the people. What, what, what should, what let's should go. Let's get say? The, let's get some freaking, <laughs> let's go. Let's give me some hand warmers. Let's get started. <laughs> and then Tom uh, is the headliner tonight with Ghost of Paul Revere and the fireworks, which I guess are going to be kick-ass. I hear they're going to be awesome. And like early a legit seven. Half hour. Seven. Great Fits right into kids. your lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying <laughs> that's where I'm at, buddy. Yeah. No, but it's like seven o'clock. So you bring the kids to the fireworks, then you take them back home, drop them off with a sitter, See. go back for goes to Paul Revere, and you have know a couple what you're pops. doing. You know what you're doing. Not my first rodeo. We we went to one year. We went to uh, 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 Disney for 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 New Year's Eve, and it's nuts. And we were at Epcot. And they have like two fireworks. They have the fireworks at whatever seven thirty for the kids, yeah. and they have the fireworks at midnight. <laughs> and we had said, no, 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 come on, we're hanging until midnight. And the fireworks went off at like seven thirty, and you know, walking around, it's like eight. Th- I don't know how old the kids are, but they're not old. It's it's probably twelve years ago. Yeah. And and so we're walking around, and uh, one of them's like drooping, and I finally like, listen, here's the deal. We'll go back to the hotel. And let you stay up there. Yeah, they didn't give a damn about Epcot. Right. They just wanted to stay up till midnight. Right? You know, New Year's and Eve. Then, you know, ten fifteen. They're both snoring on the bed, and <laughs> yeah. then she and I, are like, let's go, let's go to the fireworks. Well, my kids were little, and they don't know this till right now. We used to change the clocks. <laughs> Oh, that's brilliant. Brilliant. So when they're a little, little. So like nine, like we let them stay up till nine, but we'd move the clock till like, make it look like midnight that was nine o'clock. That is brilliant. O'clock. We used to, when so I worked smart. at, when I were, I was, you know, the weekend guy at 13. So I always had New Year's Eve. You right. Always, you know, right. I mean, oh, Frank Fixeris like, wasn't coming in to work New Year's <laughs> Eve. Man of his ilk. Uh, so I worked New Year's Eve. And so you get out at 1130. Yeah. So there's not a lot of time. Let's go. You know, you got to get somewhere, <laughs> be, have something ready, ready to drink. So we used to uh, finally figure out we had a party. And we'd go back to my house usually, but somebody's house or whatever. And then we came up with a great idea one year was you'd celebrate each time zone oh. going forward. So we got midnight, but then we got one, and then we got two. And then it became how far can you go? How can we get to Hawaii? <laughs> <laughs> no, we made it to the Aleutian Islands one year. Oh, like my God. 6 a.m. That's, <laughs> amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. Now I figured you go the other way. I celebrate Europe. <laughs> I'm in bed by 10. That's great. Midnight in London. Let's good night, everybody. Tom Karen is here. He's, we were just talking about how long he's been on the blimp and, and such a, a part of uh, uh, us here, which is fantastic. Now, you are part of so, so many Hall of Fames. I, I count so many. I mean, you're in the main yeah. sports Hall of Fame. Yes, that's legit. Which is incredible. That's ridiculous. You were uh, like. You, when I, when I, when I, when I, I think I told you guys that when I gave my uh, speech, and this was just back in September. I, uh, there's a great story. Right, the, okay, so go ahead. If you want to keep listing No, off, man, the, go. The Portland Pirates Hall of Fame is where you're going. That's, Portland, that's the, Portland They're the Pirates. only two, by the way. Right. The only two. Well, St. Bo- Mike's, hello. There's a Lewiston <laughs> Auburn Hall of Fame. I'm not in that. <laughs> Come on. I'm in the main Hall of Fame, but I'm not in the, Anyway, I'm not, I'm not bitter. We, the, um, we have one member of the WBLM Morning Show Hall of oh, Fame. Yes. And that is Daryl Martini. The oh, Cosmic Muffin. The Cosmic Muffin. Muffin. Right. Right. We would like to uh, have a second member oh. at this very moment into the WBLM Morning Show Hall of Fame. Tom Karen is here. Um, we would like to induct you, indict you, indict, indict you. you. <laughs> indict, indict <laughs> to, indict that sounds you. more like it. Yeah. Into the, uh, so yes, WBLM Rock and Roll wow. Hall of Fame. So with that, you get your WBLM pin. Whoa! Like you would put on your denim jacket in 1977. Yes, uh, yeah, except it would have said 107.5. There That's I right. don't forget. There you go. We have a uh, WBLM black rock T-shirt. Oh, this is classic for you and Mrs. Karen. Oh my God! Finally, we, I've from done the, something she'll be proud of. From the WBLM archives, for you we have the WBLM REM cassette. <laughs> That is awesome. That is, Out of time. That is the original. Oh, just, that's amazing. And uh, for your wife, the Little River Band. <laughs> <laughs> that is perfect. And, oh, that's hysterical. And we have to do something sports related. So uh, that is, uh, if you open that up and tell the folks what that is. Game used. Game, it's a, Oh, this is awesome. It's a game used bat that's been uh, made into a bottle opener. 
Yes, sir. Your, your love of the From Red my Sox. Bar and my love of beer and my love of baseball. There you go. That is licensed by the Major League Baseball right there, Tom Karen. So you can amazing. put that on your wall of memorabilia. I will. Next time I do the show at home and you're creeping on me looking at everything <laughs> in the back. Like, she'll be pissed. She's like, he didn't put the bottle opener up. Right? <laughs> I'll be looking for it. I, well, I was going to do like a little this space for rent kind of thing. You know? <laughs> like, you, want, you want to be over my left shoulder in the show next week. Give me a call. They sell, you know, sell the monster. Right. Why not do it? So, Tom, for all you do for uh, uh, blimsters everywhere and for all you do for rock and roll and our love of sports and music and Maine, we induct you as the second member Wow! in the WBLM Morning Show Hall of Fame. Wow. Uh, Mercury's in retrograde, and, and I've got a – thank you. And I've got a, a Little River Bend cassette to give to my wife. I mean, this is, I knew this was going to be a big weekend, but I had no idea. Kick it Greatest off. hits, too. I mean, oh, yeah. Little well, River all, all, the, all the big ones are it's on It's a whole there. cassette? Oh, yeah. We, we, we know how she <laughs> – Sorry. Know how she loves music of uh Oh no lie. Three of songs on this are three of her favorite songs. <laughs> really? I mean you are not joking. <laughs> We'll be reminiscing tonight. Oh! Yeah. That's why you're in our Hall of Fame right there. <laughs> That's the reason. All right, we'll see you at Carnival. <laughs> Thanks, guys. It's it was a blast. So, nice seeing you. so much fun. Tom Garrett, Thanks, everybody! Yay! If you're a listener to the station, you know Celeste and I have been uh, on the air like uh, half the day, every day, seven days a week for the past couple months. And a lot of workplaces are like that, right? A little shorthanded. Right. Um, but it's time uh, for us to really uh, buckle down. We got Chris Sedenkin in for afternoons. Right. Huge. But now we need to fill in that m- midday slot because we cannot continue to work from 5.30 in the morning till 2 o'clock in the, in the afternoon on air. So we need to fill that 10 to 2 slot. Chris came from another radio station. He's here. So we called uh, Jeff Parsons yesterday to see if he was interested over at JBQ. He yeah. was. His partner, Lori, said no. <laughs> so, But he had a suggestion of Jason Stewart, who is on WCYY. Right. And we talked to Jason yesterday, and it was he was like, eh, I don't know. Call me tomorrow. Playing hard to get. So. Yeah, he's got to talk to his wife. Yeah, I had to talk to his wife. We're calling oh, Jason. Call me Jason. Yeah. <clears throat> Hello? Hey, good morning. It's Herb and Celeste. Well, good morning. Good morning, hey, Jason. How, how are you? Well, good morning, Celeste. It's great to hear your voice. Oh, well, it's great to hear both your voices. I'm sorry. I see. That's I see. Um, Elitist. <laughs> Dude, we had so much great feedback. I don't know if you, if, if anybody called you or your phone, any text yesterday, but everyone was talking about you around here yesterday. My phone was blowing up yesterday with folks that are just like, do you, like, do you have any idea what's going on on, on WBLM right now? Like, right. I mean, we had our conversation, but I, I didn't understand the scope of it. And, and I was, I don't know. It, it def- you definitely blew my ego into the stratosphere, so I appreciate that. <laughs> well, this is like you know, this is a big deal, man, and um, everyone thinks you're amazing and see why why and and um, that would be every day, like what you felt yesterday, right? Every day coming in. Well, you know, I believe that with the listeners, a hundred percent. You know, like I I I, I really do, you know, and I talked it over with Case too yesterday, and she was like. You know, this is all well and good, but she's like, basically, you've got them by the balls. Right. Oh, okay, says. Stu. Right. <laughs> you kind of do. You know, this is the time to ask for some stuff. Because she's like, well, you know, why would you want to go to BLM from CYY? And it's like, I got to tell you, over on CYY, it's, it's like Van Wilder over there, right? Right. So you guys need to at least bring, like, I need to get to, like, fast times at Ridgemont High level over there. All right. So what, and now have you thought about putting together a rider yet, a contract rider, like, you know, oh, bands I, do? I talked it over with Case, too, because I'm heavily influenced by the old Van Halen rider. Remember from back in the day where you had to take <laughs> brown M&Ms out and all that We're stuff? We're familiar. Okay. What, do you, what would you need, Jason, what demands? To, to, to think about coming over? All right. Some of these sound totally stupid, but, you know, you got to shoot for the moon because... Um. Why, why mess around? We're listening. Captain is rubbing his head. He's like, oh, God. <laughs> yeah, what do you, okay. what's on the list? I, 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 first, let's start with the easy stuff. I got to have a daily lip sync battle. Joey and I do it every single morning, so <laughs> someone's going to have a daily lip sync battle with me. Daily lip sync battle, okay. okay. That's easy. Done, we can um, do that. I, I, I have to get a high five 
from everyone I meet in the hallway on the way in, or it sets off, it, it sets my mojo wrong. Can, can we work on that? Is this every day? Every day. That's done. Every, okay, we can do, we'll do that. Oh my God, he's All right. crazy. Now, when I get into the studio, because, you know, I, you know my music background and stuff, and, and, and I, I'm used to, start, I, I need a smoke machine. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, machine? <laughs> so basically, I can, like, I can hit all these high fives. I'm walking into the studio. There's fog rolling in, and <laughs> it'll be great, right? I okay. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, cheese do. All right. Yeah. Okay. I yeah. like it. So far, I think we could we could handle it. The patio is right outside. Right. Yeah. Um, can we put a mechanical bull on the patio? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> what else? Uh, I, I need a monkey. <laughs> You yeah. go with a mechanical bull because the monkey rides on my shoulder while I do. It's, 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 a, it's a thing we do. It's an act I used to do back in the, in the 90s. Oh, my God. Uh, I need snacks, too. So I'm going to need a half gallon of milk, yeah. squeezable mustard, and Oreos every day. Don't ask me why or what order they go in. So it's just, you know, <laughs> that's behind the scenes. Really thing. none of our business. Um, we're going to need a light bright. <laughs> a light bright? <laughs> yep. That keeps me going. It's it's like my little zen moment, you know. You know how people have those like little sand gardens on their desk. And yeah, stuff? I need a light right, but it's okay. gonna be a vintage one. Uh, it can't be one of these brand new ones. Like I need one out of a yard sale, something like that. Oh my god! All right, I'll. You know what? I'll call one of my cousins. I think we have one. Oh my god! This is crazy. Oh okay, right. and and last but not least, this one's gonna be tough, but I'm afraid of the ocean right. and everything in it. Okay, yeah. I need a great white shark. <laughs> I figure okay. if I'm riding a great white shark, I will never be afraid of anything else in the ocean. How you know about I mean? like, a poster of a great white shark? I think that's as close as we can come. I mean, uh, dude, we just we just don't have a tank big enough for a shark. Listen, listen, we're going to try to make this all happen. The kitchen sink is barely I mean, big enough to wash coffee cups. Can we cups. get, like, the old mechanical shark from Jaws? Or, I mean, <laughs> that would even be okay. What's that aquarium place? There's that aquarium place down on Commercial Street, like the main Gulf of Maine. You know, aquarium thing or yeah, something. Yeah, maybe we could have them name something after you. <laughs> we'll see. So, yeah. all right. Well, so, dangle some herring out there, and, and <laughs> maybe we'll get a. You know, I, look. I know it's a lot, man, but you know, like I said, I'm I'm asking for everything, and, and we'll see see where if we can meet in the middle. If you think yours is crazy, you should have seen Celeste from <laughs> back from thirty years well, ago. Well, I believe that they had <laughs> such a hard time finding an emu. <laughs> We got it done. Oh, God, around here? Got it yeah. Done. Got it done. Jay Stu, all right, listen. Listen, we we still want you. Everyone's talking about you. Um, I think you would be amazing. These fans already are, are are digging you. And so let me and Celeste get to work on your, on your list of demands. And can we talk on Monday? Absolutely. All right. I think- or... I also settle for $100,000, and you can forget the list. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we are closer today, though, than we were yesterday. Well, I, I think I, I'm feeling I, – I, I am definitely feeling torn. I'm glad we're going to take the weekend to kind of think about it and, and definitely, you know, give this the proper reflection that it deserves. Right. Um, and, and, yeah, I think, I think when we talk about it Monday, I think we can definitely – We'll, we'll have our answer. It's a big Good, decision. Good, bad, or indifferent, we'll have our answer. It's a big decision. How yeah. can you even be torn? How, we love you so much. Look. You must come to us. Look. Oh, I love you guys. We're going to work I on this you list. Know. You tell Case Stu. Um, so- we're hard at work on this list. Yeah. We'll, we'll do whatever we can because you know... That we we you know we're, we're our hearts are in it. Let's not be too whatever. needy. No, let's not be too needy. Okay. Hey, Jason. Either way it goes, man, we'll still be friends. No. Okay. Good. No. <laughs> That's all I care about. No. This is not so, personal. This is like business. The, this is business. Absolutely. No. 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 It's not. No. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. You. You. You have to be with us. Jason Come on. Scored everybody. All right, bud. Have a good Mechanical weekend. Mechanical bull. <laughs> All right. We'll, we'll catch up on Monday. See you, All right. Bye. bye. It's been a long time since I've had to beg to a man the way that I just did to Jason. You. That was unbelievable. Completely humbled myself before him. Mechanical bull. Lip sync battles. Smoke machines. High fives in this hallway. Light bright. Oh, don't forget the food. Monkey, half gallon of milk, squeezable mustard, Oreos, and a great white shark. <laughs> oh, my God. The list of demands from Jay Stu. To Can you tell he's a drummer? I <laughs> wink for a whole new world. A new fan. <laughs>
Classic rock wordle. Welcome to it. My starting word is so great. I use I rate. It has lots of common vowels. All new words. Don't. Don't. I saw it once on guest number two. I showed everyone my stats because I like to brag. This wordle's, I guess, a big deal. Are we the only two not playing Wordle in real life? I think that's true. I like classic rock Wordle better. I, well, you know, I, I'm good at this one. I'm good at this one. <laughs> All right, here's what we do. Uh, just like Wordle, it is a five-letter word that we are looking for. A five-letter word. We will give you an audio clue. Uh, and then if you can figure out the word, um, we got a pair of tickets for Dark Desert Eagles tonight. All right? Listen to the song. All right, 792-1029. Oh, look at the phones. They love the word. Yes. Are you ready for this? Are you hanging on the edge of your seat? Out of the doorway, the bullets rip. It's the sound of the beat, yeah. Oh, I think you know. I think you guys know. All right, classic rock word. Oh, it's all the rage, as my mom says. Yes. Are you ready? Hey. If you know this song, you might just be able to figure out Classic Rock Wordle. Classic Rock Wordle, good morning. Yes, good morning. Yes, good morning. I know the Wordle word. Classic Rock Wordle. Is it Queen? Oh, no, no, it's not. And you know what, Captain and I just had this discussion. It's a different word, but he said, can we accept Queen? And I said, no, that's not the word. Can we give her a second try? No. <laughs> Hi, BLM, Classic Rock Wordle. Hi, good morning, BLM. Hi. Hi, do you have the Classic Rock Wordle? Um, I'm guessing, is it Bites? Yes! I feel good so bad. Job. I feel bad for the lady that said Queen. Another one, <laughs> Bites the Dust. But the word was Bites, so it why was, would we accept Queen? I don't know, it's a different. whole different wordle. Oh. Some pe- sometimes you have to jump over the hurdle. To get, to get the wordle. wordle and not, you know, <laughs> that last lady, it was a wordle turtle. And now this lady's got the classic rock wordle. And who are you? you? Yay, my name is Marcy and I'm calling from Sopo. Marcy in the 04106. Yeah. What, are you, what are you doing this morning, Marcy? I am getting ready for work. Well, you're going to go tonight. You're going to actually go out and do something. Remember when we used to do that, Marcy? I do remember that. I, I, Celeste and I did it last night. It felt so good to go oh, out. yes. Be with people. Matter of fact, I want to do it again tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Marcy, thank you so much for listening. The word is bite. Oh, new word. There it is. Another one, bite.